Have you ever tried skewering a balloon? Well, if you have, here's another challenge for you, and that's to try it with a water balloon. You can even make it so that the balloon seals itself back up after you remove the skewer. The first thing I want to do is sand that surface a little bit to make it smoother. I'm also going to add a little bit of soap, and that's going to help it push through the skin of the balloon. Now for this to be successful, you just can't push through anywhere. Just like with the air-filled balloons, the best place to start is right by the knot, where the latex is thicker. The second position where it comes out would be at the opposite end, right at the bottom. It doesn't leak until you pull the skewer back out. Now if I want to make this balloon self-sealing, I'll simply add about a tablespoon of ground-up oatmeal to it, and then fill it up with water. All right, I think we're ready to give this a try. We'll start with the tied end first. Okay, now, if we pull the skewer out, let's see what happens. Oh, there's that leak there, and we sealed up that leak there. See if I can open up this hole again. There it is. Seal it. Of course, working with balloons, there's yeah. always this possibility. Now, in my classroom, I had students test several materials to find out which one was the best sealant. If you want to try this, I would suggest doing it in a plastic bottle. I've added fruit coring, and I'm making the holes larger with an ice pick to make it easier to see. If I stir it around a little bit, the leak stops. When we did this in class, my students used push pins and quite often, we didn't even have to stir. Let's try it again in this milk jug. I'll add several holes to it. There we go. Shake it. I'll put a list of some of the materials we tested down in my comments. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Bye.